Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're just gonna keep it kind of casual and just get ready with me and talk about books. I think that would be kind of a good idea. So let's get into it, shall we? First of all, I am super tired today. Have you ever like woke up and just was not feeling anything that all you wanted to do was just like do nothing besides binge watch a TV show, eat some snacks in bed, and have no responsibilities. Well, today is that day. And I honestly, I've slept like complete crap the past two nights. I took melatonin to help me fall asleep the other night. And that did nothing for me, which is very unusual because typically within like 45 minutes to an hour after I take melatonin, I'm out for the night and I don't wake up until the next morning. Well, that unfortunately did not happen. I was just up until like 10. I really didn't get a good night's rest. Like I just woke up super, super tired. And then last night I felt pretty confident enough that I wasn't needing melatonin to help me get to sleep. So I didn't take it. And that was an honest to God awful mistake because again, I didn't get enough rest. I just kept tossing and turning and I'm like, what is happening to me over here? So I'm just going through the motions today. And this is my second cup of coffee and I'm still, if I really tried, I could probably go back to sleep right now to be honest. But at least it's Thursday and Hopefully it's just going to be a a fast week. Like a, hopefully it's just it's the rest of the week is going to go by cuz I can really use a couple of days when I don't have to work <laughs> and like be social with people. Ugh. And also what really sucks is last month I read I think I read 10 books and I was like booking through the books so fast and I was like reading like I've never read before so last month was a really good book month for me and this month it's pretty much halfway through this month and I'm I'm on my second book like halfway through my second book now the first book that I read was Gone Girl and that was pretty good I these are my book x okay small wording for some reason it makes me 10 times more tired reading the book than it does with like medium to like largest prints in a book it's weird i know it's just one of my things i just can't really get behind but it it was a pretty good book overall it was a bit different from the movie I feel like now a lot of the times the books are so much more better than the movies and honestly like this might be an unpopular opinion so don't come for me. I like Gone Girl the movie better than the book and I don't know why I think because I'm on Goodreads and I think I gave Gone Girl a four star review it was good like i said it just for some reason if i just had to pick between the book or the movie i would pick the movie but now i'm i'm reading kill creek by i believe the author's name is scott thomas have you guys heard about it have you guys read it did you guys like it did you not like it i don't know it's i'm in I think I'm just going through like a reading slump right now to be honest with you because I like I'm halfway through the book like I said right but I don't know it's like there's some good parts of the book and then there's like not good parts of the book like like have you ever read a book that like you're reading it and everything and then before you know it you like have to stop and think to yourself like what did I just read 
like, wait, what? Like, you have to like, reread the paragraph or the like, page all over again because it's kind of like you're reading, but at the same time, you kind of like zone out. Because that's happened to me several times while reading this book, and I'm halfway through it. And I, I and I get like the gist of it, but I think like maybe the writing style is just not for me, and I don't even know how to explain it. Like I'm just kind of like confused sometimes, and I don't know if that has to do with the fact that I'm going through like a reading slump or not. I want to like stop reading the book until I get out of the book reading slump. And then so whenever I'm back out of it, I read the book and I'm like, I don't even remember what I read prior to me stopping the book. So it's just like, damn, it's like, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't situation. But the book is not a bad book, but it's not a great book either. I don't really know what to do. Should I stop reading until I get out of the slump? Do I not there's just i don't know and then also i think i have for this month my reading goal was to read five books honestly i don't even think it's gonna happen so i'm gonna have to just i think just stop reading until i am like in a better mood to start reading i guess i don't know because when I get into reading slumps like this, like n I don't really read a lot of great books because I'm just not feeling reading. And hopefully I'm able to kind of jump out of this, hopefully like next month, but we'll see. But I don't really get into reading slumps all that often. It's like once in the blue moon. So hopefully after this, I can just kind of jump right into it like normal because on Goodreads, it's like I have a love hate with Goodreads. It's like it keeps me focused or like it keeps me on track to how many books I need to read to, you know, to to meet my yearly goal, which is a hundred books. So so far I'm still on track as of right now, but um we shall see okay if you guys have any good book recommendations let me know i am really into thriller books i love me a good horror book too um so if you have any good recommendations let me know drop them in the comments below and hopefully it'll help me book series that really got me into reading is the twilight series and i don't have those books anymore because back then whenever i did start reading them i was i had this mindset of like well if i already read the book once why do i need to keep it because i don't really know if i'm gonna read this book again but now that was like over 10 years ago whenever the twilight series came out and whenever i last read the book so i don't know even though it's not like a thriller book or thriller book series I guess I don't know should I read that series again and also again don't come for me but but should I buy all the Harry Potter books and read them because I have not read any of the Harry Potter books ever I know don't come for me if I do decide to read the Harry Potter books, if I read them all, should I have a Harry Potter movie marathon? Grab some snacks, make some hot chocolate, or a glass of wine or two, and just indulge in some Harry Potter and some wizards. Should I? I don't know. It's just like I always, I, I've, I've been thinking about the Harry Potter books, but I'm like, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if my attention span can like 
follow with the whole series and that's why like I'm not really a book series kind of girl like I kind of just like an individual kind of book and that's it because I feel like it's too it gets kind of boring after a while but there's like how, how many Harry Potter books movies like seven eight <clears throat> we'd love to know y'all's recommendations should I read the Twilight series Again, should I start Harry Potter and get all the books? Please let me know because I'm in those, I'm in that kind of mood where I don't know what to do anymore. Like I just, I want to keep reading, but I don't know what to keep reading that's going to make me like snap out of my like reading funk. Thank you for letting me just ramble and I really do appreciate it. So if you guys like this video, if you want me to kind of get ready and have a casual sit down, talk about books and stuff like that, hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.